Buenos dias, welcome back to another video. Since the last time you guys saw us, we arrived in the city of Medellin. We had a short travel day from Salento and we were welcome to the city with amazing views. Let's get into what we are doing today. Today we are taking a food tour with La Mesa Food Tours here in Medellin. We are super pumped because eating our way through a city is one of our favorite things to do. Colombian food is known for being meaty with a lot of rice, hearty, zesty comfort food. And we're here in Parque Principal in Envigado and we're waiting for our tour guide David to show us around. Nice to meet you. Hey, up, nice to meet you. How are you guys? We've just met up with our tour guide, David. Say hello. Hello. How are you? He's going to be showing us all around Envigado today and taking us to show to eat to eat all of the yummy foods. Let's get started. This is our first stop, and we're going to be trying an empanada. It already looks so good. So, is this a carne empanada? Ah, uh, yes. Traditional carne it. empanada. Finally, we've been waiting for some fresh ones. This, this is the good. best one we've had. Yeah. The one we had before was too thick. This is like a thin, crunchy corn exterior, and then there's like meat, and what is it mixed with? So you have potatoes, you have the ground beef, uh -huh. and you have like all their vegetables, exactly. Okay. Mm. I want you to try to guess the flavor. Okay. Good? I'm gonna already guess bubble gum. No. Okay. okay. It's, it's a fruit. Uh -huh. Don't think too much about the color. Deceiving. Colombian drink, we're gonna try to guess the flavor. He said the color is deceiving. Rasa? Summer? Is this Coke? No. <laughs> like a Coca Cola? Number one, I love this. It's, it's, a, it's delicious. a very common fruit. Sammy couldn't figure it out, but I guessed it right. It was apple. He was right. The color threw me off a little bit. Absolutely delicious, though. I can't tell you guys how. It's... Oh, oh. <laughs> A photo together. As you're walking around, you'll see empanadas everywhere. You'll think they're authentic and local and fresh. The key is look for the deep fryer. If you see the deep fryer, you know it's fresh from that morning. That's the key. These are the by far the best we've had yet. Awesome suggestion. What a great start. I can't tell you guys how delicious those empanadas were. They were definitely the ones I've been waiting for. And now we're going to head to our second stop. <laughs> In Latin America, a lot of other Latin Americans. Chocolo. Chocolo, not chocolate. Chocolo is a specific type of corn that is sweeter than most other types of corn. So we have a sweet corn arepa here, and it's topped with this huge, massive chunk of cheese called Cuajada. Nice, got <laughs> I got a perfect over here. Everybody gets lucky once in a while. All right, I'm going in for a bite. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love this too. You get like a really intense sweet corn flavor and the cheese is salty. It's really a great combination together with the sweet and salty. Wow, this is so amazing. I love the combination of the crusty arepa with the cheese on top. The cheese tastes so fresh too. It's so delicious. I love that you can watch them cook it right in front of you too. You know it's top notch. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Arepas are something that we eat every single day. If you look at the locals around and you ask them what they had for breakfast, probably they had arepas today. More than Most empanadas. likely. Uh, more than empanadas. Oh. Empanadas is like something that you get outside, right? 
just walking around, you want a snack, you oh. can eat it at any point of the day or night or whatever. So did you have one today? Of course. Did you? How am I going to go to work without a Lefa? <laughs> I love it, man. Do you always eat the sweet corn one or do you eat the no. savory, like a the, more... The arepa that we eat most of the times is pretty plain. With an arepa, never eat an arepa alone. Because I see a lot of people trying arepas alone, they don't like it, but it's because you cannot eat arepas alone. It's like if you take a tortilla and just eat it alone. It makes no sense. It's like a vessel for the ingredients. Exactly, yeah. We're about to try sugar cane lemonade, and he said this stop is typically not on the tour because this guy's never here, but he's here today and we're gonna try it. So you have the machine. Senor. You got more? Yum. We did try one of these in Bogota, but it wasn't this color. It was definitely a lot lighter. I don't think it was lemonade. Okay, no, this is a lot more sweet than the one we had in Bogota. But you still finish with that citrus. That is so refreshing. The typical way to say, like, it's so good. You, you can say, estaba muy rico. Estaba muy rico? Estaba. Estaba. If you finish, because it's fast. Uh, oh, okay. Uh. Or you can say, está muy rico. Está muy rico. Uh, While está muy rico. <laughs> So we have something called Lulo. Lulo. So we're trying the Lulo. It reminds me of a very sour kiwi. It's absolutely delicious. He said it's not very common here for people to eat it by itself. There's a certain fan base and they'll put salt or sugar on it, which actually sounds very good to kind of mellow it out. But this fruit's super popular in drinks. That is tart. You like wow. it? Wow. Yeah, I love it. I love sour. sour things. Beautiful pink color. David was saying that a guava is a fruit that most people will take like to go and they'll eat it like on their way to work or at school. Like an apple. Like an apple. This is a tree tomato. So the outside texture kind of reminds me of like a cantaloupe. But the inside is super gooey. Look at all the seeds there. Is it gonna taste like a tomato? Find out. She didn't like this one last time. Tried it. Refreshing, a little sweet, tiny bit sour. It's delicious. Sam here, missing out, baby. You can have all of it. All of the mm. tomato for you. Very good. I can't believe you don't like that. That's a bad cheese. Bad meaning. red cherry tomato but it's orange. Definitely more of like a savory fruit. Tastes kind of like a tomato to me. Reminds me of like a sour tomato, a little more tart, but wow, great flavor. Just explodes in your mouth. Delicious. These cute little peppers are called ají. If you want something spicy here in Colombia, instead of asking for like hot sauce or picante sauce, you ask for ají. And it'll come a sauce or you'll get these little peppers in your dish. Look how tiny they are. He said if I eat one, he'll give me a banana to eat after. Should I do it? Yes. Do it. Do it. He said they're very spicy. I don't want to ruin my stomach for the rest of the food. He said it's on me. No, I can't. Something called eagle. Right. Give it a try. I love these, but not many people know about it. That's more flavor than you said it would. Most people will buy these for birds. For birds? For birds. <laughs> <laughs> Most people buy these for birds. I think it's actually pretty sweet. I like it a lot. This called? one's pretty sweet. Eagle. Eho. Eagle. Eagle. Like when you're eagle, you're like, oh, eagle. Not like eagle, like that. No, no. <laughs> with a G. Like eagle, but with a G. Eagle. eagle. David was just telling us about how lucky he is to live in Medellin and in the surrounding area because they're so close to the forest and the greenery that they get to see all kinds of birds that come right through the city. So you see like huge parrots 
and that they would like put out fruits, like these fruits, and then the birds would come and eat the fruits, and then it would be their chance to see a bunch of colorful birds. It was pretty cool. We're frying that. Yeah, we're gonna put some fruit out on our balcony later. Kurua, can you guess the texture of the fruit on the inside? Banana ish? <laughs> no, I'd say the same, same as like uh, passion fruit. Okay, let's see. It's just like passion fruit. fruit. It's the yeah. same thing, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roll this is such a great little texture. It's like a stress ball. You know one of those gushy stress balls? So what's this called? Kurua. Kalua. Kurua. Like the alcohol? Kurua. Karuba. Kurua. Karuba. I thought you said Kalua. <laughs> the seeds in this one are kind of big, but it's sour and tart. Very delicious. Just do it, yeah. Oh, no. That side or the side of your Not the bookie side. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hey. boom. Now you just put your fingers there and they'll turn it off. Oh, yeah, baby. This is like one of our favorites. Yeah. These are so good. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Turn your leg better. First or the second? I like the Lula better because it's not as sweet. It's a little bit more tart. So I feel like I can drink more of it. It's almost like an icy. It's so cold and frozen. No, oh, yeah. Like a slushy. So refreshing. I'm too immature to say that. Bordeaux. I'm too immature for this Excellent one. Bordeaux. 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 Anywho. I don't know what I was expecting. But it definitely was not this. This tastes like strawberry pineapple mix. This tastes like a strawberry pineapple okay. milkshake. It's delicious. I, the name scared me away. <laughs> so just learned a little bit more about this fruit. Um, Colombians know this drink to maybe provide you a little bit of energy, and it could also be used as an aphrodisiac. Now I'm trying the what? Wanawana. Wanawana. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't know about like this one. I thought I was going to really like it, but I don't think I do. I knew she wasn't going to yeah. like it. <laughs> Try it again. Yeah. Maybe it changed your mind. Yeah. It's milky, kind of chalky. No, not really. <laughs> I don't think so. Does it remind you of the Turkish drink? It reminds me of the Turkish drink that I ran. Iran, Iran, that we had in Turkey. It's like a milky yogurty drink. Not for me. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, favorite, the Lulo. Love the Lulo, love, love, love the Lulo. Wow, the juices here are unbelievable. Moving on to some food now. I think we're heading to a restaurant to try some ingredients from a Bendea Baeza. But the idea is for for us to bring it to like a very low price, right? That's the idea of all these things. We don't want you to bring you to like a flashy place or anything, just to a truly local. We appreciate that. Yeah, cool. it Looking looks very to. local. So he was saying that this building, it's a colonial building, and it's gone through many different stages. It's been, is it a disco? A pharmacy. A pharmacy. A bar. A bar. And now it is a restaurant, and it is a packed house, people. There is not an empty seat in here. This is your ahi. Ahi, I was okay. gonna say. You can put that on the red beans if you want. But in my pocket, keep it for later. This is the magic sauce. <laughs> okay, put it in there. He said, put it in there. Ooh, they're so big. This is my kind of meal. Amazing. This is my kind of dish. It's warm, cozy, the beans are creamy. They're like swimming in this like gravy sauce. I want to put some of that ahi on it. Oh yeah, that top notch. This stuff, mm. Mm. this is my favorite. Salud. This is what I'm talking about. I don't want to see you cutting the chicharron. You just bite it? Break it, bite it, take it with your hands. Perfect. Okay. We don't cut it. So we have here a huge chicharron. Do you say chicharron or chicharron? Chicharron. And a patacon, a really thick patacon. And a lemon. What? Oh. The director is giving me the faces. I'm in trouble. So I need my chicharron. Wow, is that what you do with the lemon? Because that looked amazing. Oh my gosh, look at that. This feels, this feels authentic, having it like in my hand with like the lemon is like dripping down my arm. Okay. 
That is so good. It's so crunchy and salty. And this part right here is like very like soft and chewy, but then you get that crunch at the same time from, I don't know whatever this part is, but it's really crunchy. It's the skin, oh the skin, <laughs> the skin. It's very crunchy and the meat is just very tender and lightly salted with the lemon. Very, very delicious. This is what I've been waiting for all day. Wow, what an amazing stop. That was my favorite stop of the day. And now we're going to continue on. So you don't sip this. You have to take the shot. Okay? Oh, shot. Just the entire shot. Salud, okay. new Salud. friends. Salud. Salud. New friends. How's that? Wow, we. Ooh, like pepperminty. Pepperminty, but smooth. It's really good. Yeah. This is the uh, bottle. Aguardiente and Tuqueño. Pretty much every region has a different aguardiente. That was good. It was good. I liked it. So these are little mini churros. They're just like fried dough and he topped them with sugar and arequipe sauce, which is similar to a caramel sauce or caramel, if you will. This is like the sweet, the perfect sweetness after that spicy, savory meal we just had. Oh yeah, that's amazing. It's just like a burst of sugary sweetness. Mm. Sugary fried dough was not the love. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Salpicon. Just the fruit is salpicon. This is a very specific name. This is salpicon with ice cream and cheese. <laughs> of course there's cheese on it. Cheese, on it. cheese exactly. <laughs> cheese with fruits and ice cream. One of the most popular ways to eat ice cream is with cheese. Okay. That's like the best topping you can get on an ice cream. Really? And you, you think so? You, you know so? 100%. This is like if I have 100%. to choose one topping for my ice cream, it will be cheese. 100%. This is this the same cheese you had earlier? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. It's the same. Oh, well, I really love that cheese earlier. But you can't escape the arepa or the cheese in Colombia. But, no. you know. Try the stuff, cheese, arepas, corn, yeah, all of yeah. that. Um, Tommy calls me the cheese queen because I. Well, that's her nickname. I, Back home, she's the cheese he, queen. He literally is like, what are you doing today, cheese queen? <laughs> <laughs> this is mixed fruits with ice cream with cheese on top, and you're supposed to get a bite with all of the elements. Okay, I think I have everything ice cream, cheese, and fruit. <laughs> I'm really excited for this actually. The cheese queen, what do you think? The cheese is not as mild as I thought it was going to be. You can def it's definitely cheese with ice cream. I don't know if I'm a huge, huge fan. I think I'm going to need a few more bites to just kind of let all of these flavors meld in my mouth. But you get like that sweet and salty mixture. I think for me, it's really like a the creamy textures is really nice. A little bit of cheese, ice creams, and fruits. Mm. Much better. Okay, you the need cheese queen doesn't like the cheese. No, you need to mix them all together. The fruits is a big element here because it makes it tart. Oh yeah. Okay, that's where it's at. So in your spoon, cheese cannot be the main ingredient. Cheese is just a little part of it. So that's why you have to mix it. That was my mistake the first time. Too much cheese. Cheese with ice cream? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not a cheese queen or king, so I'm gonna try it out though. It's really good. 
delicious. Who would have thought cheese with ice cream and a milkshake? And the fruits are so fresh and amazing. How could this not be good? What was I thinking? Fantastico. So the cheesy ice cream was our last stop of the day. We had a wonderful time on our food tour. So if you are in Medellin, definitely take food tour with La Mesa Food Tours and David will be your amazing host. And we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you everything, man. Hey, appreciate you. Thank you so You're much amazing. for coming. Thank you so yeah, much. It was a pleasure to have you here.